Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS Word channel. In this short video, I would like to show you how to convert this GIS file as you see here to uh, AutoCAD file, to the DXF file and after that you can work in the AutoCAD if it's necessary and this is a really uh, important topic for the city planners, architecture, you know, to convert the data from the GIS into the AutoCAD. So first of all, I already added one shapefile, which is the state of the Germany here. And if I just go to the properties, I would like you know to add you know some kind of symbology. I already add. If I come to the symbology, I would like to change it in the categorize and in the value. If I just take it according to the uh, classifier, you see we we have a different uh, color here. Each state, for example, here Hessen this this color, and I already added. Uh, the different labels according to the name of the states and you know the text the buffer and uh, the, even the placement uh, here mode I defined as a free uh, uh, mode so we would like to check how is our result inside the AutoCAD so let's continue so first of all you must come to the project icon and after that here import export export project to DXF which is the format of the CADF file so here you must define uh, where your data will be saved and here you can define for example i will define test uh, 7 here save and we will continue with the symbology mode which is very important right now and we have for example by default we have the no symbology just one single geometry per feature default symbology and uh, the result will be black mostly and feature symbology is one single geometry per feature only first symbol level and it's not uh, this one will be used for the not complicated symbology and, and we are using this uh, mode and after that we have the symbol uh, layer symbology it's for the complicated symbology and it takes more time but we will use the feature symbology and here symbology scale is important in what in which scale that you would like to create your uh, uh, symbol uh, symbology and here here set to correct uh, current uh, canvas scale with this icon I already added and this is the encoding uh, which is like a uh, for example here ISO encoding which is used for the Germany chart set data and here you must define your coordinate system for example where is that which is very important and if you have the teams it must be defined here and here for example, export label as the MTEXT elements and here select all. It, so it means you can have the different uh, shape file uh, here or layers and it, it can be exported to the DXF file. So we just OK and let's wait for result and it's up to, to the number of the symbols and the features and it's sometimes it's up. It takes up to the two minutes, three minutes, and sometimes it will be finished sooner. So we will wait a little to get the result. So as you see, we are done uh, with this task, and we must open our uh, DXF file and to check how is the result. So this is this, it was our GIS file, and we will go to open our uh, AutoCAD file. As you see, we have defined the name as a test seven, and we just double click uh, here. I'm using the Brix Cat, which is a, some kind of an extension from the AutoCAD, and here you see we have the result with the, exactly the color label inside the AutoCAD. So it means you can start working here. And if, for example, you know the label sometimes is outside because it's exactly according to your uh, scale what we exported the data into the AutoCAD and so right now you can start the job inside the AutoCAD and you know changing or rotating the labels or changing the colors inside the AutoCAD. I hope you enjoyed from this video and you learned how to convert the data from the GIS to AutoCAD and if you have any question please write it down in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel and uh, make us happy with your like and sharing to your friends thank you very much and bye